folks. Welcome to another Marketing Technology Minute. Well, we've been on a long train of integrated digital marketing, Chris, and today we're going to talk about the last element, which is performance management. Yes. In <laughs> fact, that's a subject, Spencer, as you well know, near and dear to our hearts as integrated digital marketers and marketing technologists in general. Mm -hmm. And really it's because with performance management, we got to take all the data we collect uh, in our marketing efforts and slice it and dice and really think about it and, and try to form conclusions as to how we can improve uh, our campaigns and initiatives and yep. make our marketing more efficient. Mm -hmm. So having said that, yeah. you know, if I, if I was to say one thing that we uh, fellow marketers and businesses could do uh, when engaging in performance management, mm -hmm. it would be to keep your ear to the ground. Keep your ear to the ground. Well, I feel an acronym coming on here, Chris. Yeah, it is a bit of an acronym. Uh, what I mean by this is, is you need to engage, analyze, and refine. I see what you've done here. Yeah. I'm excited to, to, to delve into the keeping your ear to the ground. Indeed. So let's do so. The first point is engage. And what I mean by that is I think oftentimes, Spencer, we get so excited to go straight to the data, we forget that there are people behind the data. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is we want to get, I, I like to think we want to build a mental framework for what people think mm -hmm. about our various initiatives before we dig into the data. Uh, kind of taking a step back and, and humanizing it. So, sure. and I think there are two ways to do this. There's, uh, you can do this internally and externally, as I say. Mm -hmm. uh, externally means reaching out to the prospects and consumers that, oh, your target audience that this or that initiative, you know, had focused on yep. uh, uh, through social media or even other means, even live, and yeah. trying to get that feedback, that you know, what, what did they think? What did they think about this? Yep. How did they receive it? And then secondly, go into your sales team, your account team, uh, your CSRs, uh, the people who are perhaps more closely working with on a day-to-day -day basis customers and prospects and getting their feedback. That's you know, what are they telling you? Mm -hmm. So that's the key right there. And, and that's kind of the engagement portion. Yep. And, and that really sets you up to have the proper framework to go into the analytics portion. Okay. Which is, a, which is a key portion to this. It's the bread and butter, as it were. <laughs> yes. And the key to analytics, of course, I think, is that uh, we integrated digital marketers always want to take two approaches to our analytics, mm -hmm. an inductive approach and a deductive approach. I'm so glad you brought that up, Chris, because I was actually just reading earlier today a blog that you wrote a little while back, uh, and you defined inductive and deductive in accordance with marketing, you know, marketing technologists and small businesses alike. Sure, sure. Um, I'm actually, let's, let's just bring it up here and let's uh, just talk about it. Okay. So we'll start with the inductive approach. Mm. <laughs> Does that sound good? You want to sounds go? great. It sounds great. Okay. All right. Well, your inductive approach obviously relies on specific data from broader generalizations. Yes. Okay. So this was your example that you wrote. Okay. When we offered W piece of content content to X audience segment on Y medium, we got Z response rate. Therefore, we would do well to offer more W type content to X segment in the future. Now, there's a lot of letters in there. If you could bring that <laughs> sure. together for a real live, right. you know. Experience. Well, so I think what I'm saying is uh, that's just one example of it. Sure. So, so let's say in a you know hypothetical situation, we have a content marketing ebook mm -hmm. as our piece of content. Okay. And we share that uh, on Facebook. Uh, we share that with a specific target audience. Let's say it's uh, uh, small businesses uh, in the tech industry with uh, 10 employees or, or less with, uh, I don't know, 5 million annual growth. Sure. And we target Facebook uh, to really promote the heck out of it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we track our response rates. And let's say they're really good. Yep. Well, then we might, you know, think about that. And using inductive reasoning, we might say, well, if we take that content and maybe uh, roll it out to that target audience in a wider approach through Twitter, LinkedIn, and even uh, through the website, yes, uh, maybe make a video, et cetera, that we're going to have uh, a similar response. Capturing the X segment. Uh, yeah, a larger segment because that, that kind of micro segment showed they really, they really liked it on that medium and as mm -hmm. such. 
you know, we're gonna we're gonna kind of hope. So the inductive that, that specific we can, to the broad. Th yeah, yeah, that 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 suggests that on a more general level they'll like it too. Definitely. So then moving into the deductive approach. Right. Obviously, that's going from the opposite. The opposite. The broad generalizations mm -hmm. to arrive at specific conclusions. Right. right. So here's what you wrote again. Typically, audience segment X seems to like W type content over all media. Therefore, if we offer this new piece of W content on Y medium, we expect to get a favor favorable response rate from X. Yes. So, and that's really just the, the whole broad to specific. So that's saying, you know, typically, uh, you know, the same target audience sure. likes. Uh, Ebooks. They tend to download ebooks. Uh, they're a little bit colder on videos and how to's and infographics. But for whatever reason, they really love ebooks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if that's the case and we're trying to plan a new initiative that is specifically targeting this audience segment, maybe we can shoot, you know, let's say we're going to use a, a social ad campaign. Yep. Maybe we're going to promote ebooks to that target audience rather than videos or, or any other type of content because we know in general they like it. So in this specific uh, campaign, then we're gonna and we target it with let's say like a Facebook sponsored story. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. All right. So that's the whole analytic piece yeah. or the analyze piece of the keep your ear to the ground. Now, the, obviously, that analyze is key. Right. But to really sum it up, you have to refine because that's yes. just going to help you in the future. So. Yeah, and I couldn't. That's the the linchpin of all this. So so we've engaged. We build our framework. We've gotten our feedback. We've kind of confirmed it with our data. Mm -hmm. You know, we've analyzed it, sliced it, and diced the data. Now we want to refine. Yep. And what does refine really mean at the end of the day? What's the goal of refining? And the goal of refining is to improve your message. It's to create efficiencies, mm -hmm. efficient, uh, efficiency of message. It's to perfect your marketing campaigns and initiatives so that when we go through the ear process again, we have higher response rates, we have more positive feedback exactly. from our engagement. Yep. Uh, so really, at the end of the day, refining is all about taking all of this feedback and really thinking about what it means and how can we actionably use it for not only current campaigns and initiatives, but to help craft future ones Definitely. so that they're more efficient and reap more positive feedback. For sure. And that's keeping your ear to the ground, folks. Keeping your ear to the ground. All right. Well, that's been another Marketing Technology Minute. I'm glad you guys stuck with us for Integrated Digital Marketing. <laughs> yeah. And, hey, and because, in point of fact, we are an IDM, Integrated Digital Marketing Agency. Yes, we are. We're always happy to talk about it. Any day of the week. And twice on Sunday. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks.